Hey guys, World War II Solitaire Board Game Channel here back again with Airborne Commander. And I just wanted to make a short video and give you some uh, strategical advice on how you can win the Medal of Honor and get a good score in this game. Uh, number one, make sure to suppress roadblocks. The roadblocks aesthetic defenses. Uh, they can be suppressed. For example, if you have two roadblocks here, uh, they might be separate or they might be stacked up. Just use a browning or whatnot and suppress them. I can effectively here use just one unit to get rid of these two roadblocks. Perfect way to get rid of roadblocks. Number two, suppress and kill. I have a mortar here and he's quite easy to kill because he only has one defense uh, point. But he does have a high attack which is three small arms fire. Uh, if I were to engage him, for example, with my private here, uh, which has two attack points, he would kill the mortar, but the mortar would kill my private. So go ahead and use one unit just to suppress the mortar, and the mortar will not be able to return fire. He's killed by the private, and I, I score half a point. Number three. Make sure to get bazooka guys and anti-tank guys quite early in the game. Uh, there's three of these private first class who has two attack in uh, AT uh, and then there's uh, three of these bazooka guys uh, they also they have three attack so they're slightly better they cost two they got cost three so these are easier to get if you can get them early in the game it's good uh, because there's two of these tanks which only have one in defense so these two will die from these guys and they will not they will be able to defend themselves so basically these are just two free points if you can have these on your hand uh, then you have the free bazooka guys and they're able to counter these uh, free tanks which have two attack and two uh, in defense so they're not going to be able to kill the bazooka guys but the bazooka guys here they're going to be able to kill them uh, and get away so here we have uh, five victory points and you only need 12 to get the Medal of Honor. So if you can get those bazooka guys and these uh, paratroopers early in, uh, you can at least get three, three points, uh, which can, uh, can help you out quite a lot. Other than recruiting bazooka guys, some other guys you should always recruit the medic. He's great uh, for limiting your casualties. The French resistance, that's also a good one. Limiting your casualties can also make uh, the game go a little bit longer. So you get that Medal of Honor before you run out of the mission deck. Uh, the Jeeps, they're my favorites. I mean, they're quite cheap. They only cost three recruitment points. Uh, you get to draw two cards. So basically, uh, they're very powerful. Uh, and there's three of the Jeeps. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about static defense, so basically when you get static defense you might not always want to uh, engage it. For example this static defense is quite easy to deal with because it can be suppressed because it's an infantry static defense. And let's say I just played around here and I left one static defense, why would I do that? Well, I'll tell you why, because that will limit the number of enemies I'm going to have to engage next round. So I know I'm going to be able to engage this quite easily. Uh, and then I might get an infantry, I might get a terrain, and then an objective. So this is quite easy. All I need now would be, for example, a browning to suppress uh, the static defense here and the infantry. So they're suppressed and go away. And all I need one now is just one unit to capture that objective. So effectively, by saving one static defense, uh, preferably a roadblock, uh, I know that I'm not going to have to deal with something tougher than that. For example, you can get some of those tanks, which are not so nice to deal with. Uh, also, I would recommend that you limit how many disorganized cards you get in your uh, player deck. Uh, this guy is really tough to beat. Uh, I wouldn't try to kill him, obviously, but I would uh, send a private or something else cheap against him. Uh, just let him kill him, uh, just to not get that disorganized into my player deck, uh, ruining my deck. 
Uh, other than that, really, uh, generally, I think just uh, try to start recruiting men quite early in the game. You want to fill out your hand with better troops. Uh, like I said, get the AT guys and the medic, the jeep and the French assistance if you can. Uh, otherwise, these uh, troops with uh, multiple suppression value are really helpful because there's a lot of roadblocks and infantry coming your way. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. Uh, good luck getting that Medal of Honor. Over and out.